Okay, I just wanted to show everybody uh, this heater core that I got in the mail. Uh, I got it from Moss Motors because my old heater core from the Triumph is uh, leaking. Basically, this is, this is the old one, and as you can see, there is a difference in height, but uh, that's okay. The uh, circumference is the same. And it looks like the pipes are about the same size. I haven't really actually tried measuring it. But I like this design quite a bit. It's better than this one, I think. Uh, this one leaked. And as you can see, uh, the core act, the cores where the, which carried the water actually ran this way. And when they get plugged, there is no way that you can stick a wire or any kind of mechanism down there to clean that out. All you can do is basically is attach a hose on one of these, force the water through there under high pressure and try to get that gunk out to clean it out, which is what I did. The problem is a lot of water pressure on here will cause this cord to get damaged and leak. So it's not really a good solution, I don't think, because uh, it caused mine to leak. But if you look at this, well, these cores, oh, you look at these pipes, and you can see uh, they're really pretty thick. I mean, they're nice and big, round. There's no way that this is going to get clogged up with anything. I just can't see that getting clogged up. So, I really like, I really like this design. And you can see it's got three pipes on the outside. And if you look on the inside, it's got two. Two on the inside. And so all together that's five. Then you, uh, basically one of these is the input, one of them is the output, and then it just runs around like that. So, uh, that's it. They also give me a fan blade, because if, this, if you put this old motor in here, well, you can see it's designed for the, the thickness of that device, the cedar core, but not for this one. So. You have to take that old one off, and they give you a new one to put on. You uh, just swap them out, then reassemble it, and that should be it. So, then the question is, does this put out much heat? Does this blow pretty good? Will it work? Will it fit? We shall find out. So that came off. That's what that looks like. So now this thing will go on. Like this, like that. Yep. So back there. So alright. <clears throat> the way this thing worked, the old one to fit right in here. And I don't know if you can see, but there are some little tabs. I just kind of kept this in place. Then this one is perfect. Really nice. So, a perfect fit. And that creates like this little space between here and here, which is where the fan blade will fit. Okay, so I got the motor on, and motor, whoops, and then uh, I guess the next thing is to put the fan blade on. It fits like that. It's perfect, and it's looking good. This fan blade will have to go on like, uh, like this, I guess. Strange. Let's see. The round part goes like that. Okay, so this is, goes and hmm. it looks like there's going to be a lot of room. So I might 
I might tilt these up a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, let's see. I'll try. I'll tighten it down to see what it's like. There you know. Put it. I put it together, and let's just see how well it blows. I'm kind of curious. I want to see if it's going to blow out nice and strong out of here. If it's not, I'm going to tilt those fan blades a little bit. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Quite a bit shorter than this one, but I actually kind of like it a little bit shorter anyways. I think that it's going to make a little bit more room down below. So, uh, I'm going to try it out. Okay. Let's just try it out and see how it works. Looks pretty good. Strong wind. Look it up. I think that's working good. I like it. Okay. Right, I got the fan all put on and the Looks like the heater's all in there. I made sure that where this bracket is, see, it goes like this. Make sure that that lines up with the doors on the bottom. So that the door one will be on the left and one will be on the right. And I just then automatically put this here and then <clears throat> three holes right here, which means the pipes go right here. And this is all ready to be put in. Put the hoses on there. I'm not sure if it was a good idea to put them on now or put them on later, but we'll see. Alright, here's what I did. I actually added a little bit of an additional spacer right there. These were the original ones, and since this was actually kind of small, shorter compared to this, I wanted to drop it so it'd be more even at the bottom there, and so I made these spacers. And also, because these pipes right here were taller than the old, I uh, needed some more room. So I dropped it, dropped the whole thing, which gave me a little bit more room on the top of the pipes for the, the hoses. So, we'll see how it fits. Okay, just to show you what it looks like underneath, I have installed it, and there she is. It's pretty much, pretty much plumb near the right height and there is the connections things all plumbed in there and so I've had this in for uh, quite a while now pretty much all winter and it seems like it puts out pretty good heat so I'm pretty happy with this with this little heater core and no problems really like it so that's it thanks